Hello friends, in the last video we discussed about replication of DNA in prokaryotes. We discussed it briefly, we came across several enzymes and proteins that participate in the replication of DNA. You can refer my video, the link is given in the description box. In this video we will discuss about DNA replication enzymes and proteins in detail. So first of all DNA helicase. This enzyme is vital to all organisms that is it is very important. These are motor proteins that binds and moves on the template of the lagging strand that is in the 5 dash to 3 dash direction. So it unzips the DNA strands or open up the duplex or helps in the melting of the two strands and this is done by the breaking of the hydrogen bonds between the annealed nucleotide bases or the complementary bases. In order to break this hydrogen bond energy is required and it is obtained by the hydrolysis of ATP. One ATP per base pair is required. Hence it helps in the formation of the replication fork. And it also provides single strand template for the synthesis of the new strand during the DNA replication. So this is the double helical structure of the DNA. The helicase comes and binds to the template of lagging strand. So it binds to this strand and moves in this direction that is 5 dash to 3 dash. Example of helicase in E. coli is DNA B which is hexamer and in eukaryote it is MCM. Now the second is single strand binding protein in short SSB. It binds to single stranded DNA that is both the separated strand. When both the strands separates single strand binding protein comes and binds with the separated strands and this binding prevents duplex or secondary structure formation. So when these binds into the single strands of the DNA, then it does not allow the rewinding or the formation of the double helical structure. And it binds as monomer that a single SSB comes and bind, but it binds cooperatively. It means binding of one single strand binding protein facilitates the binding of more single strand binding protein monomer to the same strand and hence we say that it binds cooperatively. So we can say that it is a tetramer and it is non-catalytic. It does not show any enzymatic activity. Also it is sequence independent. It can bind to any sequence in the single strand of the DNA. It holds the separated strand in semi-extended position. So this strand which is semi-extended is more accessible to the DNA replication machinery. DNA replication machinery comes and can uh, easily bind to it and hence the replication of the DNA takes place. When a particular segment of the DNA is replicated then single strand binding protein falls off and it is recycled and then it is attached to the next single strand segment and in this way the process goes on. Now the third is primase. It catalyzes the synthesis of RNA primer which is less than 15 nucleotide long. In order to prime the DNA chain elongation, this RNA primer provides 3 dash OH to the DNA polymerase because DNA polymerase cannot itself start the synthesis of the new strand. It requires this 3 dash OH group. So this primase is a type of RNA polymerase because it synthesizes RNA. It is most error prone and slow. So it also acts as the halting mechanism so that the leading and the lagging strand are synthesized at the same pace. And this is done by halting the progression of replication fork. In E. coli it is DNA G which is a monomer it forms the primer for lagging strand and the primer for the leading strand is synthesized by certain other RNA polymerase which is multi subunit. 
So in eukaryotes, it is DNA polymerase alpha, which shows both polymerase and primase activity. It is tetramer and this tetramer is heterodimeric. Two subunit serves as the polymerase and two subunit as the primase. So this is the DNA. The two strands are separated, which serves as the template primase comes and synthesizes the RNA primer. Then DNA polymerase comes and helps in the chain elongation. In this way, the new strands are synthesized and DNA is replicated. So this is all for today's video. If you like this video, please hit the like button, share it and subscribe my channel. Thank you.